This is King Echo, the philosopher king, the king of Manu, the Pan African king. I got something I gotta share, you know, something I gotta talk about. Recently, I saw an article about Joseph Antoine Bell, a former uh, soccer player, football player in Cameroon, with, with a goalkeeper, you know. He's angry, you know, about the fact that Southern Cameroonians burned the flag. Boo hoo, so what? What is a flag? Think about it. What is a flag anyway? Flag is just a piece of cloth. Yes, it has sentimental values. But sentimental values does not surpass a human being's life. I mean, these people are willing to go for war because uh, Southern Cameroonians burn the flag. But what, nine months ago, the military was shooting Cameroonians, killing Cameroonians, raping Cameroonian, uh, Southern Cameroonian women, you know? beating them, tell, making them roll on the mud just to, to dehumanize them. No, and no, no francophone spoke up. None. They kept quiet because it doesn't concern them. They don't see us as brothers. Now, the people of Southern Cameroonians are angry, pissed, and they've been pushing for their sovereignty, for their independence, to be free. Because let me tell you something. Southern Cameroon was a free state before the Union. But what happened? Aijo used might with, with all his power, his military power, to suppress and control Southern Cameroon. For 56 years, we were looked down upon. 56 years, we've been killed. 56 years, we've been marginalized by the Francophones. We've not been treated as human beings. The Francophones don't treat us as human beings. They don't see us as human beings. So what if you burn a fl uh, one flag or two flags? So what? What is the flag compared to a human life or human lives? English Cameroonians have been murdered, murdered in the street by your military. And you foolish Joseph Antoine Bell didn't say shit about it. You have the audacity, the guts to come and say nonsense because a flag was burned? Man, that's garbage. Burning a flag is even nothing, man. We gotta do more. September is coming. School, you guys want school to reopen, but you guys have our leaders locked up. You have many Southern Cameroonian in, in prison, not, you know, locked up, not even well kept. Just keep you, you keep a group of people like rats. Treat them like they're not human beings. And you Francophones don't talk about that garbage. You don't talk about that trash. But you have your you have the audacity to open your large, disgusting, grotesque mouth to talk about the flag being burned. That's nothing, man. More has to be done. It's just the beginning. We just started. There's not going to be any school in Southern Cameroon. But let me make one thing clear also. There ain't going to be any schools in Cameroon, period. Because we will have to burn down the schools, the universities, you know, government offices. They need to be burned down, not just in Southern Cameroon, but in La Republic, in Douala, in Yaoundé, Bafusa. That's what we need to do as Southern Cameroonians. So that you should feel the pain and anger and frustration that your motherfuckers put us through. Let me make something crystal clear. Southern Cameroonians or Ambazonians at war with Francophones. Some people say, no, 
In fact, Novo Brothers are our brothers. Hell with that shit. You don't treat us as brothers. Let me tell you one more thing. The universal law. This law is applicable every, anywhere in the world. It's in the Bible, it's in the Quran. Do unto others as you want them to do unto you. The, the, the Francophones don't treat us as brothers. They don't see us as brothers. So why should we see them as brothers? They want us dead. They've been killing us for the past 56 years. So why should I stay with somebody that is killing me and call him brother? Shit, hell. My freaking aunt did that shit to, to my family. Fuck. I don't talk to that bitch. So why the fuck would I want to talk to some motherfucker that is not even related to me and is killing me saying it's my brother? Is it because he's black? Or is it because, oh, you speak French, I speak English, so you are superior than me. I am, I got to listen to you, bow down to you, pray to you, answer to you. You can kill me whenever you choose. And I don't have to say anything about that. But oh, it, it, when I burn a flag, oh, you get angry. You get angry and you say garbage, you say nonsense. What is the flag? To the people that have been killed. In southern Cameroon. What is a flag? We could burn the entire flag in Cameroon. It's nothing. We need to burn schools. In Douala, in Yaoundé. Make sure that no schools is being held inside the entire of Cameroon. Make Cameroon ungovernable. You guys have been treating us as trash as hell. We need to increase what we're doing. To make sure that Cameroon is unlivable. There are two things you can do. President Paul Bier and the regime of, of La Republic. You could wipe out the entire people of southern Cameroon or let them go. Those are the two options you have. Wipe us out completely from earth or let us go. Because if you don't, we ain't gonna stop. This is just the beginning. You know? This is a message I wanted to tell to you all, Francophones. Francophones are our enemies, not friends, not brothers. They have never treated, treated us as brothers for the past for the six years. They are our enemies. And the number one rule in the art of war know your enemy and know yourself if you know yourself and know your enemy you will be victorious but if you choose not to abide by this law you will lose i'm saying this straight up to all southern Cameroonians, especially those who don't believe in this cause who want us to stay in the union the union was a fraud there was never any union what Ayujo did was just force down his might, his military might on us, supported by France. There is no signed law that says we are united, we are one Cameroon way. No, there is no law like that. Look it up in the UN. There isn't. The union was a fraud. Some say, oh, we can't succeed. No, we're not trying to succeed, we're trying to separate. It's two different things. We never had a legal binding law with, with French Cameroonians. There was nothing signed. So we're separating. And we have that right as Africans. The African Union needs to see this through. We have that right as Africans to separate. Not just as Africans. We have that right as citizens of this world. To separate. You know, you can't just do the same thing over and over and over and over and expect that, hey, you know, it's gonna be the same shit. No, man. We're human beings, we adapt, we change to the circumstances of the situation. You put us through hell. Joseph Antoine Bell, you are a fool for making that statement. 
you're a fool and we will have an independence or you will wipe us out completely and keep the land because that's all you're after the land you don't give a damn about the people this is king Echu, the philosopher king i'm out <laughs>